Right, welcome to my first video ever. This has been done with uh, Cam Studio screen capturing, which is a free download off the internet. Well, firstly on Stellarium, we have these two tool menus. And I'm going to lock them down to make it easier. That's how you lock those down. Firstly, I'm going to look at the location window. If you notice here, there's all different places in the world you can select them. And um, you can actually select any country you wish to select. Then you come down here, and you can put your latitude and longitude in, which you can get off uh, either Google Earth, or if you've got a sat nav, just take a little walk down your garden. Some phones have them on now, and they'll usually give you these coordinates. So that will make this place here now where you live. Actually, your own back garden. <laughs> Next, there's the date and time here. We set the date and time, obviously, which is important because when you go out on a night, this will be showing you exactly what is in the night sky from your own garden. If you go out in the morning like it is now, this is what you will see at this time. There's little Venus in the background. This is where you set what you really want to view on here. Um, I've more or less left it as it was. Um, but you can mess about with these things and run to you how you like to have them. So, it's just something to play with. Next we've got the configuration window. When you first download uh, Stellarium, some of the stars aren't here. Um, so in this area, you can uh, download the rest of the stars. Um, really good. Navigation again. You can just set these to whatever you want. These are scripts. Quite clever things. You can have a look at them and uh, they're interesting. And there's several plugins. So that really takes care of itself really. There's a extensive help file. Um, just scroll down here and there's everything you need to know. Very good. So that's the help file. Right now as you can see it's daytime, not early morning, so I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to click on this icon here and uh, turn off the atmosphere so we can see some stars. So now we can see some stars in the sky. Now if I was to left click on Venus it will highlight it and uh, that means it's centered there. If you want to click off an item you just right click. If you want to click on it you left click. The next thing we can look at is telescope view. So if I click on telescope view, there is Venus in the telescope view. We'll click that off now. Now if you want to uh, actually center on that object, we'll just pick any object for now. You click this lady here and it centers the screen on it which enables you to zoom right in, zoom right out again, which is very handy. Well, this here, I'll turn the net mode on, but as you can see it goes red and that, so it's 
not very good for this video so I'll turn it off for now this here turns the names of the planets off and on this button here turns on the nebulas so if you uh, click on the nebula center around it zoom in there is the nebula M25 it's quite a simple program to use really so I'll turn the nebulas off here's an handy one this turns on satellite now, well, as a rabbit, we're lucky we found one. If you zoom, whoops, let's center it. We'll zoom into that. And as you can see, it's uh, quite fast through the sky. So, it shows you quite a few of the satellites, which is good. Now, if I want to look at an object in the night sky, well, it should be the day sky, really. Um, for instance, if uh, we go to the search window and stick in Mars, and we go find it, it's just coming up above the sky. Uh, we can actually look through the ground by clicking this button and anything below there if we wish we can oh a couple of satellites there we can look at so Mars is actually near the sun at the moment so it would be very hard to view with a telescope and you as you know you don't look at the sun with a telescope boss you probably won't be looking at anything ever again so we shall turn that back off again now and there we go as you've seen I just used this search window um, let's have a thing Saturn I think will be visible Saturn find object and there we're on Saturn and if we beam in there you can see the moons and notice it's turning because the Earth's turning yeah and if you centre it, it'll stop it from moving. Right, we'll just zoom out of there again. Now down here, you can turn different grids on. And you can turn the constellations on. If you want the constellation name, click this button and you'll see that the uh, constellation names come up quite good. And another clever thing is, I've just turned them satellites off. Um, if you click this one, it puts some heart on. And uh, very good for helping you remember. Very clever. So I'll click all them off again now. So I'll just find Saturn again. And we'll beam into Saturn. And really that's about all there is to say on Stellarium, but it's an excellent program. Um, download it if you're into astronomy. If you're an amateur, it's a great help. Um, hope it's been interesting with my boring voice, and uh, hope to post something else soon. Thank you for watching.